All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be learning about the different levels of style sheets, or in other terms, the different ways that we can specify styles for the HTML elements. Now, there are actually three different ways by which we can specify the style. The first one is called an inline style sheet. The second one is called a document level style sheet. And finally, an external style sheet. Now, if you go through some of the tutorials, you probably would have encountered this at the very beginning, but I wanted to take a different approach and first teach you the different styles that can be applied and then learn the different ways of applying the style. So anyway, let's get started. Now I'm going to pick document level style sheet first. Anyway, let me create. Okay. The first one is, the first one is inline style sheet the second one is document level style sheet and the third one is external style sheet all right so first i'm going to be teaching you guys document level style sheet because this is what we've been using all along so the document level style sheet usually has a style tag in the headers in the head section a opening style tag and a closing style tag and you specify the style within this pair of style tags so let's say we want to apply a style to h1 all the h1 elements within this document then we make use of the h1 selector and just say color orange and when you have an h1 tag an h1 tag and just say header one and when you save it and refresh it we have a style in our document that is applied so this is called a document level style sheet now, the next one is the inline style sheet now the inline style sheet only applies to the content of a single HTML element for example we can have h2 and this is header 2 now in st inline style sheet is specified by using a style attribute within the opening tag and then we can specify the same style that we specify within this enclosed style tags within this pair of style tags so we can have a style color which is let's say blue and when we save this and refresh it we have a headed to with blue color but here's the difference an inline style only applies to that particular line so once again if we create an h1 tag this is also orange but if we create an h2 tag this is not blue so save it and reload it there you go when we use a document level style sheet, it applies to all the elements within the document. So the H1 tags, the first one and the second one, both have orange color. Now the inline tag though, is going to apply to only one particular HTML element. And this time it's only for the first H2 element. The second one is still going to be in the default black color. Now the third one and the most widely used style sheet is the external style sheet so let's say that we have 50 pages in our website and having this particular style this right here in uh, 50 pages is well kind of redundant so what we do instead is we write this style in a separate file and just include that file in each one of these 50 web pages so, you know, if it's confusing, give me two minutes and, and I'll explain it to you. So what we do is create a new file and this, just save this as mystyle.css. So an external style sheet needs to have the extension of .css. So save it. Now to specify a style, like how we have been using the style tag, we can just copy the content within the style tag and paste it. Now let's say 
let's apply this for the H3 element. So H3. Now, if you want to include an external style sheet, then we make use of a tag called link. Now, the link will take an attribute called relation, and for style sheets, it is going to be style sheet, and the type attribute is going to be text slash CSS, and href is going to be the link to our style sheet. So href is equal to mystyle.css. Now save this and let's create an h3 tag. And we have h3, let the color be light blue, or we already have blue, I believe, orange, and then a blue. Let's go with light green. So light green, save this, create h3, this will be in light green. Now let's save it. When you refresh it, there you go. We have an H3, which is in light green color. So by using external style sheets, it's it's very advantageous because let's, let's say that you have 50 web pages and you have all the H1 elements in the color orange. Now, later on you realize that, okay, orange is not a good color. I wanted to change it to blue. And you're like, oh my God, I need to change it in all 50 pages. So instead, you can just change the color over here. So instead, let's say if you don't want a light green color, we can just change it to blue. And since this style sheet is going to be included in all the 50 pages, I just have to change the color once and it is going to be reflected in all the 50 pages. So there you go. This will be in light green. So I hope you guys got a basic understanding of the different levels of style sheets. We have an inline style sheet that applies to a single element. We have a document level style sheet that applies to the document alone. Then we have an external style sheet where we declare a style separately and then we use a link tag to include it in our HTML web page. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.